Not all calories are created equal. Different foods go through different metabolic pathways in the body. They can have vastly different effects on hunger, hormones, and how many calories we burn. In this video, I'm taking a science-based look at five of the most weight loss friendly foods on earth. Number one, chia seeds. Chia seeds are among the most nutritious foods on the planet. They do contain 12 grams of carbohydrate per ounce, which is pretty high, but 11 of those grams are fiber. Um, this makes chia seeds a low carb friendly food and one of the best sources of fiber in the world. Now, because of all the fiber, chia seeds can absorb up to 11 to 12 times their weight in water, turning gel-like and expanding in your stomach. And this helps reduce appetite and total calories consumed. There aren't any good studies uh, investigating chia seeds and weight loss, but given their nutrient composition, it makes sense that they would be a very beneficial addition to um, a weight loss diet. Number two, cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables include things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Like other vegetables, they're high in fiber and tend to be incredibly fulfilling. And what's more, these types of veggies also tend to contain decent amounts of protein. Now they're not as high in protein as animal foods or legumes, but they're high compared to most vegetables. A combination of protein, fiber, and low energy density makes cruciferous vegetables the perfect foods to include in your meals if you need to lose weight. And they're also highly nutritious and contain other beneficial compounds like antioxidants. Number three, soups. Foods with a low energy density tend to help people eat fewer calories overall. Typically, these are foods that naturally contain a lot of water, like the cruciferous vegetables I just mentioned, uh, and fruits. But you can also just add water to your food by making a soup. Some studies have shown that eating the exact same food, except made in a soup instead of a solid food, makes people feel more satiated and eat significantly fewer calories. Additionally, serving low energy dense soup as a first course or preload to main meal seems to reduce total calorie intake at that meal, as well as the amount of calories consumed at meals later in the day. Number four, lean beef and chicken breast. Meat has been unfairly demonized. I've explored why in greater detail in another video, but essentially it's the amount that we eat and the processing that determines if it's healthy or unhealthy. The truth is meat is a weight loss friendly food because it's high in protein. Um, this is by far the most fulfilling nutrient and eating a high protein diet can make you burn up to 80 to 100 calories more uh, per day. Studies have shown that increasing your protein intake to 25 to 30% of calories can cut cravings by 60% um, reduce desire for late night snacking by half and cause weight loss of almost a pound per week. Um, that's just by adding protein to the diet. Just be careful of your portion sizes because that's where people tend to overdo it and the, the total calories then become a negative factor. As a general rule of thumb, your meat portion should be about the size of your palm. Uh, even, uh, even at this size, beef and chicken contains about 25 to 30 grams of protein. Number five, cottage cheese. Dairy products tend to be really high in protein as well. One of the best ones is cottage cheese. Um, calorie for calorie, it is mostly just protein with very little carbohydrate and fat. In fact, one cup contains 25 grams of protein. This makes it very satiating so that you feel uh, full uh, with a relatively low amount of calories. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the uh, red subscribe button below this video and then you can catch all our new videos as they come out. Thank you.